This is Ryan Dukarm from Inside the Pylon, and welcome to the first ever edition of Cover 2. Cover 2 is going to be a, a draft-centric series I'm going to be doing for the Inside the Pylon YouTube page, uh, modeled after my Y option series for tight ends uh, and Mark Schofield's first sound series for quarterbacks, and this is going to be focusing on safeties uh, for the NFL draft. So I'm um, going to be looking at two traits in each video that I think um, these safeties either something I really like, uh, like we'll be doing in this video, or you know, some things maybe one I like, one I, I think the safeties need to improve on as they transition to the NFL game. Uh, so to kick things off, we're going to be looking at Damon Webb, the safety out of Ohio State. He's uh, a bit of an underrated guy, I think. I haven't heard a lot of talk about him um, in draft circles, um, but I think he's a guy you can be really confident in developing into a starter down the road. I think he's got outstanding tackling and angles to the ball and that's what we're going to be looking at here today i got five plays that i think sort of show the ability he has in run defense not necessarily from the box i think he's a little undersized for that kind of role uh, but to come from deep in the field with really good angles uh, sort through defenders and offensive players and blockers uh, and make uh, make a play on the ball so um, i think he's pretty raw on the back end right now he's only a first year safety he played corner up till now um, but you could see some really nice flashes. I think by year three in the NFL, he should be entrenched as a starter uh, for either a two high or a single high defense. So uh, let's jump right in here. So we got Webb right here on the back end of this play. Um, as you can see, it's third and 12 um, for Oklahoma. And right now, uh, Ohio State showing a two high defense. Like I said, this is Webb right here. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to roll into a cover one um, play. So Webb is actually going to be matched up right here uh, with Oklahoma tight end Mark Andrews. Um, this safety is then going to drop to the middle of the field, and these guys are all going to just sort of play man coverage. Um, oh, not sure what happened there. Um, but these guys are then all going to play man coverage across the board. Uh, like I said, it's third and 12. So Webb's biggest job here is don't let a first down happen. Um, and what will happen here is Andrews is going to run sort of a a deeper crossing route. He's going to right off the ball. He's going to start coming across Webb, You're going to see is we're going to read it really fast and take a really nice angle to the ball. So let's play it out here. So as you can see, makes the tackle preventing the first down. So let's break this down a little. Um, so right off the bat, you can see Andrews, his first move is right inside. So he's not selling like, a vertical route and coming in on a dig, um, he is really going to just go straight across, and he's trying to just outrun um, Webb, try and gain that corner. Um, so what you want to see from Webb here is, A, the, the sort of mental processing to recognize what's happening in front of him, which he does, I think, really nicely. Um, if we sort of play it slowly here, you can see him immediately break on that play. Um, so Mayfield hasn't even thrown this ball, uh, and you could see watch Webb here and you can see when he starts to right there he just started to break on the ball um, break on his guy Mayfield hasn't started to throw it yet so now we'll see throws made all right he's coming in he's got a really nice angle right off the bat but Andrews this is where his momentum's taking him so what he's going to try and do here is he's going to try and catch this in stride and get just past the first down marker um, it'd be easy for Webb to come right at him and give Andrews a lane out the edge, um, and that's not what he's going to do. He's going to come right in. When you're, you really got to aim as a defensive player, especially in space, um, you can't get away with a bad aiming point. So what you got to do is you got to aim for where he's going, not for where he is right now, and you have to aim at that near hip of the player. So when he's running, you want to aim at the closest hip of him, that's where you want to throw your shoulder. So if we run it slowly here, you can see now Andrews is coming out this way, um, and Webb's aiming point is going to be like right out here. And what he's aiming for is right here, that little area. I know it's kind of tough to see, but that near hip of Andrews, that's what I'm talking about. That's where Webb wants to, to lay the hit here on Andrews. That's exactly what he does. He hits right at the near hip. You can see his, uh, his sort of aiming point, his hit point is just below the numbers of Andrews, so you know he's getting good contact in sort of the midsection of the tight end. He's not coming up too high, grabbing around the shoulders where he's going to get um, thrown off. He's not coming down at like Andrews's, Andrews' ankles or anything like that where he could get shed really easily. A really nice aiming point on this tackle, both um, 
in space for where he needs to run to, but also on Andrew's body where he's got to hit this. So if we just back it up a little bit, play it at full speed again, perfect angle, really nice strong hit, and that's something you see all over um, Webb's film is that really nice strength to secure tackles. So if we stop this and we come slowly forward, really good strength to wrap up. Here he's got his arms around. He's not getting shed. Andrews is not able to just sort of run through an arm tackle. This is a really good hit, and he drags him right down. And that's going to be about fourth and three for the Oklahoma offense. So really like this play from Webb. Uh, now we can move on to the, the next one, which I also think is from this Oklahoma game. So Ohio State's down here, um, fourth and eight. Um, if they want any chance of coming back, they need to stop here. Um, and what you're going to see is this is Webb right up here at the top of the screen. Uh, again, a too high shell. Um, Oklahoma is going to run a little, um, so they're going to play action here. This running back is going to come across, fake a handoff from Baker Mayfield. Then the fullback, Dimitri Flowers, he's going to come across almost like a split zone play. So that's what they're doing. You can see all the blockers here. They're faking the blocks this way. Um, so Flowers is going to pretend to be that H back coming this way, and he's then going to release out to the flat. Um, but what they do on the back side of this is this receiver is going to come in, block this linebacker. And I know this stuff up here is covering it, but this receiver is going to do the same sort of thing. So he's going to um, block the um, the wide the corner. Excuse me, that's right up there. So then you're going to have Webb right here. He's going to need to sort through this, read the angle that Flowers is going to take once he gets the ball from Mayfield on a little little throw. He's going to figure out which lane um, Flowers is going to run through. So we'll play at a full speed here. So as you can see, just a really, again, a really smart play um, all around from Webb. So let's play from the top here. All right, so play action. He's already, he's seeing his guy that he needs to pick up. And then you can see this receiver is coming in. They want to just sort of block in almost like, um, almost like a punt return to get that lane out on the edge. So you can see Mayfield faked it. This guy's trying to get in almost like a pick play too on Webb. So now Webb's got to make a decision, right? He's got to come forward to play it, or he's got to know that that guy's back there and get outside. So we'll play it slow here. He sees that this is not going to be a viable path. If he comes here, Flower's going to have the lane to the edge. So he really smoothly moves around the traffic, around the trash in front of him. Gets a little bit of bend around the corner, almost like a pass rusher to get sort of upfield once again. Comes to phase, drops his hips, drops, you know, bend in the knees, but his head's up. You can see he's looking right at his target. He's not looking down at the ground during his tackle. And then finish the tackle. Good strong hit. I mean, that's a fullback sort of H-back. I think he weighs about 250 pounds and web stoned him right there. Again, really nice, uh, really nice tackling form coming in, wrap up, secure it, and drop it down. And that ices the game, um, or excuse me, ices the drive for Oklahoma. So again, a really nice angle to the ball. He's got the really nice aiming point on Flowers' body going right at the sort of midriff uh, of the fullback. And you can see here, again, that aiming point that we were talking about is Webb's going to come in. He's going to go where Flowers is going, not where he is. If he was going where he is, he would have come up this way, right? So he's not going where he was. He's aiming right out ahead of the, the fullback, getting to it, and he's coming for that near hip. It secures it really nicely. All right, so next play, at least from the Army game. Uh, this was a really good game to watch uh, when you're evaluating a guy like Webb um, just because you don't always get opportunities to see safeties play the run. Uh, to the sideline. And because Army's an option team, they had a lot of toss plays, a lot of speed option plays, where you could really see Webb's angles, his ability to to work through traffic in front of him. Um, and for me, this was the game that sort of sold me on his ability to read what's happening up front, break on the ball quickly, sort through traffic, not get sort of uh, bogged down in everything, and make a really nice angle tackle. So uh, on this play, it's going to be a sort of outside zone play um, that they're going to run here. Um, I'll run it first, then we'll kind of break it down. So kind of an outside zone pitch play, and that was Webb from the center of the field. So this is Webb right here. Um, 
the blockers up front are just all going to kind of be released now this way. Um, and these three blockers on the edge are really going to sort of lead block out in front of this thing. So they're going to be getting out in front. Um, this sort of wing back is going to come up this way, take the pitch and get outside. Um, and then it's going to be on web um, back here um, to make a play coming forward. Um, and he's going to need to get through kind of all this traffic here. Um, Army's not exactly a threat to throw the ball. So, you know, Ohio State's loading up the box. They got single coverage up here. Everybody else is in here to play the run. Um, he's going to have to sort through that if he's going to make this tackle cleanly. And that's what he does. And that's what he pretty consistently did on film. So we play it slow again. Um, you can see, I think all game he sort of had responsibility for a play like this. You can see he's not coming forward through all this. His aiming point um, is right forward through all this mess. Um, so he reads it. He sees this trash now coming out in front of him. Um, so this is offensive switch back to yellow here. Sees that. Sees this guy getting out. Sees this guy getting out. Um, this player is actually going to clip back on this uh, linebacker in pursuit. And he sees running back coming to the outside. So he knows he's got to break it down and get behind these guys to make this play. exactly what he does he got like a nice sort of stutter step one way or another comes to and makes a nice pop out of bounds along the sideline so obviously you know running back sees him coming kind of starts stepping out um which is fine but you know you, there's a lot to like about the process here from web so read the play really quickly again that mental processing that sort of play speed on field get to here sort of come up Really nice angle. His aiming point's going to be that near hip of the running back. He's got it all secured right here. Shove him out of bounds. So right there, he's making contact with, like I said, that near hip on the back. So again, just a really nice angle. We'll play one more time uh, at full speed from the top here. Um, just a really nice play all around. You can see that really nice pursuit angle and that ability to sort through trash in front of him. Like I said, he's got this angle coming right forward here. Ability to sort through trash and make a play. All right, so one more play from the Army game here. Um, this is going to be Webb right up here. Um, and he is going to defend a sort of option play from this wing back and the quarterback. So they're going to fake the dive. Like I said, Webb was kind of responsible for that backside wing back coming around this way all game. So you can see him make a nice play to avoid the defender, wrap up on third down. So break it down a little bit here. So this guy on the back side here, he's coming around, he's gonna take a pitch, and he's gonna try and get uh, get vertical. Then Webb, on the other hand, uh, his job again is to get outside and defend that pitch. So what we're gonna see here um, is he immediately again, good processing speed, knows where this ball's going, he knows he's got help inside, so the back's not gonna cut it up right in here or anything. Um, avoids this blocker really nicely. Let's take that back just a second. This guy's going to come up here. He's going to kind of cause a diversion, a little bit of traffic. Um, he just leans just inside enough to avoid it. All right. He's got the quarterback covered. Quarterback's pitching it right here. All right. Now let's adjust. Let's get to the back. Where's his aiming point? Again, perfect angle, near hip. Come through, drop the hips a bit, make contact, wrap him up send it to fourth down. So again, just a really nice play all around uh, from Webb on this one. All right, so last play we got here uh, is now from the Michigan game. Um, this is a bit like the first play. It's going to actually be kind of a coverage play. Um, so what we got here is, uh, if we pause it, Michigan kind of motions into this bunch formation here, uh, first and goal from about the seven. Uh, and what they're going to run is this uh, tight end here, he's going to run just a little drag route. They're going to be running a mesh concept. Uh, so this receiver is going to release here, come across. Uh, this guy is going to come up here, run a deep over route, uh, and this sort of back is going to release to the flat. Um, so that's what they're running with here. Um, this right back here, um, I'll clear all this off so you can actually see him, um, is Webb in the back. This right here is Webb. So Webb 
um, is going to be playing man on that sort of mesh route coming across the middle. So this is Webb right here, uh, and he's tasked with man coverage on this guy. So he's already you can already see him releasing across the field. The whole point of the mesh concept whenever anybody runs it, but especially in a situation in the red zone like this, uh, is to create traffic in the middle of the field. So if we run this for it a little bit, this is the mesh concept coming here. You want these two little crossers, and this is exactly what you want. You want this guy, who's, this is Webb, in man coverage against the tight end. This tight end comes across, you want him to get picked up by, you know, you just want to run into his own teammates, everything like that. Same for number 12, following number 9 across the field. You want that traffic. You want this kind of collision happening right here. So that's what they're running. They're going to end up throwing it to this tight end here. So we're going to watch how Webb defends this. So like I said, we got Webb here. He's in man coverage. All right, they're motioning into the bunch. You can see him make a little switch with his teammate. All right, now he's following. He's here right there. That little step he takes is the key. Bang, get just outside of this traffic in front of him here. So he gets just outside enough so he doesn't slow down. Comes out, and now, rather than coming downhill to try and get back right behind him in like a trail technique, he's going to take a really nice angle and, again, run where the player's going, not where he is. So he's not going to try and close on this immediately because then the guy can sort of take one step, fall forward, and maybe he gets into the end zone. So instead, he's going to take this angle out here, close really nicely, and prevent any yards after the catch. So there it is. His aiming point again, that near hip. When the player's facing this way, you can aim right in the middle of his back. And absolutely, again, that really nice play strength we saw on all five tackles from Webb in this video. Um, that strength to not let any yards after catch happen. Come in, tight end secures it, but Webb's already on him. So you can see just how impressive this play is. Uh, because this is the entire point of the play, is to get a situation where Webb is forced into traffic right there, just like is about to happen, and he really nicely avoids it. He feels that. But now, I mean, there's three or four yards of separation here between these two players. This should be a touchdown. But he immediately starts bending back in just to get over the top of this route. He doesn't try and close immediately. He tries to get nice and slow over the top of what's happening. Wrap up. That's a tackle. It prevents a touchdown here. So that's all the five plays I have of Webb. I was really impressed with him. I know, um, you know, in our in our Slack chats for the uh, ITP draft guide, a lot of really positive things being said about Webb. We're pretty high on him uh, as a group. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please reach out to me on Twitter at dbryan underscore ducarm. Check out all the stuff we're doing over at Inside the Pylon. Be sure to order your copy. Uh, the Inside the Pile on Draft Guide at itpdraftguide.com. Uh, check out all the good content on the YouTube page and over on the website itself. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.